This is a walkthrough of Lesson 9, Assignment 2, using the Pathfinder panel in Adobe Illustrator uh, to shatter some text. Uh, you can use this technique. You'll be using it later on in another assignment, uh, but uh, you can use lines and other shapes to create new art from existing shapes. So uh, we're going to begin by creating a new document that is 7 inches wide by 5 inches tall. Uh, that's in the uh, landscape orientation, so you can just type those in. There's also some uh, presets, and it may be under uh, film and video if you'd like to do the 5 by 7 preset. So, uh, here's your artboard. First off, we're going to create some text, so we're going to grab the type tool. Before I do that, I'm going to make my type filled with black with no stroke. So I'm going to grab the type tool and I'm going to type something. I'm going to type shatter since that's what it looks like in the assignment. But uh, you can use any word you want. You can use your name. You can use, well, anything. And I'm going to choose something bold. Uh, the bold font just helps us see it better and, and it's easier to grab the pieces and, and shatter it or move them or color them, uh, whatever your preference. So. I'm going to make it bigger by holding down the shift key, which will constrain the proportions. And I'm going to drag this large enough so that I can work on it. Okay. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to create this into art. As you can see, it has the blue line. That's the baseline of the type. So this type could be edited still. If I wanted to, I could come back and uh, remove a letter. But uh, we don't want to. We want to create this into art. So we're going to go up to Type, Create Outlines. Shift Control O on a Windows, Shift Command O on a Mac. And what that does is it moves that line from beneath. Now it's no longer editable. These are pieces of art, no longer pieces of type. So uh, now we're going to use a line segment tool. Here we go. We'll choose that. Uh, first, I'm going to click off of here and grab the line segment. And for the line segment, I want to add some stroke of color. So uh, I'm going to use blue. And I'm going to uh, make it one point. That's fine. So now what I need to do is just draw lines to cut through these letters that will um, wherever these lines are is going to separate these letters into individual parts so i'm just going to draw some lines they need to completely intersect the uh, shape whatever you're doing don't don't stop in the middle like that go ahead and go all the way through all right let's uh move out of the, i'll move this out there we go. We got a few. All right. Next, we're going to select all those lines and the shape. And you can do that a few ways. Uh, you can, with your selection tool, you can drag a marquee around and it selects everything. You can do Command or Control A. It'll select everything on the page. And then we're going to use the Pathfinder panel, which will show up here under your properties. Pathfinder. If you'll click the three little dots, you'll get all the modes. Here are the Pathfinders. You're going to be using Divide. And Illustrator is going to divide the bottom shape everywhere that the lines intersect uh, the shape. So when I hit Divide, now everything is broken up into individual shapes, as you can see. All right, there we go. But they are all still grouped together. So in order to uh, deal with the rest of the assignment, you need to go to Object, Ungroup, Shift Control G or Shift Command G on a Mac. Now these are individual pieces that can be colored. Let's, uh, let's use the fill. Uh, they can be uh, moved. Uh, whatever you want to do, however you want to adjust this, uh, 
you can do it. Uh, make it colorful, make it shattered, uh, explode it out however you want to. So uh, that's basically the, the assignment. Uh, you'll save this again as a PDF file, not as an Adobe Illustrator file, and submit it, uh, naming it your name uh, and shattered or Pathfinder, whatever. I think it says shatter in the assignment. Okay, reach out if you have questions.